Hey, oh, okay. Well, hey, that's a big truck. No, let the truck go. So I've had a lot of interest on Facebook and on YouTube with this balloon fishing that Teresa and I have been doing, right, Teresa? Yep. Since we had so many questions coming from so many different angles, I figured I'd do a, at least a few videos on how we're doing this balloon fishing start to finish. This first video, I want it to be an inter, inter, introduction as to why. One of the main reasons why is, well, if you look at the trees right now, show them the trees, Teresa. See how the trees are moving really hard? We're way back up in the woods, away from the beach. And if the trees are moving this hard, that means the wind is blowing hard at the beach, really hard. Okay, motorcycle. Hard wind, we ain't going off the beach. And a lot of times it's white capping in the bays when it's blowing this hard. So it's just a no-go day. We've discovered that we can actually fish offshore, BTB, without a kayak, as long as we have a due north wind. And so it's kind of just kind of a fun thing. I, the way I, I kind of thought of it is I had a buddy that used to fly kites. We'd kayak fish and when it got real windy, he'd go fly a kite. And he was into these trick kites. And uh, that's kind of what we got going on here. So I do have some kind of misconception. People are thinking that I'm using the, the balloons as a cork, as a bobber, like perch fishing. And a lot of people, I've seen them use uh, balloons as corks, bobbers in South Florida with big old shiners for largemouth. I see them use it for shark fishing as a big bobber. Um, I've seen them use it here for tarpon off the beach as a big bobber to float baits away from in the current from the uh, kayak. This is kind of a whole different deal. This is kind of, I'm standing on the beach. I want to catch those fish that are blowing up way out there offshore. I don't have a kayak. I've got a north wind behind my back. A lot of these days when the north wind is blowing less than nine miles an hour, eight miles an hour, I'm, I want to be out there in a kayak because it lays the gulf flat. But when you start talking about 12, 15, 20 miles an hour from the north, it's too much for me personally. As soon as I hang a fish, I'm halfway to Cuba by the time I wake up and realize where I am. Uh, I gotta watch those strong north winds, but that's when the balloon fishing comes in. Let's talk about the wind. So what days do you want to balloon fish? Like I just said, north wind days. When you look at windfinder.com, which is what I use daily, you want it to be pointing straight down. Here in Florida. Teresa's correct. We run east to west here. I-10 runs east to west, the beach runs east to west. It's very left, right, up, down. It's very easy around here. Well, here you want, anywhere in the panhandle, you want a north wind, because a north wind means it's blowing straight out to sea. A lot of times it'll try to blow northeast from the northeast, and it'll kind of bring your balloons down the beach, not so much out. We're trying to go out to sea. So we're always watching for off days, heavy wind, 15 mile an hour, 18 mile an hour winds that you can't kayak fish off the beach, but we have a straight north wind that we know will carry those balloons out straight to sea. So we're basically using the balloons as a sail, not as a float. They happen to work as a good float, but we're using them as a sail. It changes the presentation. Normally when you're surf casting and you have a big 12 foot surf rod and you diamond weight or spider weight and you chunk it way off the beach, you got a bottom presentation. Even if you kayak the baits out 300 yards and drop them, you got a bottom situation. Here, we are fishing anywhere from two, three, four, five feet below a bobber. That, that bobber's acting as a sail. It blows way out to sea. You've got a tight connection between you and the balloon, and you're dropping down three, four feet. So you've got this top water column presentation with the live bait swimming around like this. And that's where all the pelagics um, hang out and the same water that we're fishing is where we see guys anchoring out with kayaks for the big tarpon we saw some tuna fish jumping yesterday in this two three four hundred uh, yard range the kings hang out there the big spanish hang out there you just kind of never know you're kind of fishing btb with just a big rod and a piece of pvc pipe and a dollar store balloon I tie the balloon straight to the leader, which I'll show you in a, in a future video. And basically what happens when the fish hits the balloon, it pops. But because I have it tied so securely to the leader, the pop balloon comes back in. So I either get a, a inflated balloon back or I get a pop balloon back. But we get all yeah. of the balloons. Back. Yeah, and I, I usually pile up the, the leaders and the, and the balloons and stuff next to my cooler, and then I take that home with me. I don't, I don't leave any trash on the beach, and we, try to prevent any trash going in the Gulf. Got several more videos coming up, y'all. I'm gonna dig into how we catch the bait, how we set up the rods, 
the whole night, wear it, hide the balloons, everything. So get ready. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time right here on Tips with Ty. Oh.